you know, I spent quite a while looking for a decent vegan video to critique, like a what I eat in a day or just something ridiculous, and there was nothing. I was like, have these vegans collectively run out of brain cells that there is nothing good on YouTube in the vegan realm. But the cruel people that have convinced vegans to follow this diet have still got it. And I mean, it's understandable because they're not actually vegan. They're eating meat. They are enslaving the masses to follow this nonsense diet while they eat caviar and cheese in their caves. And uh, the most recent thing they've come up with is <laughs> the vegan cannibal steakhouse by Liquid Death. And I mean, I, I, you guys got to see this. And, and this is 100% real. This isn't a joke. This isn't trolling. To my understanding, this is real. At the Vegan Cannibal Steakhouse by Liquid Death, we believe that eating people is unethical and unnecessary. That's why we're proud to serve you and your family the world's finest plant-based, cruelty-free human meat. Because we believe you should eat what you love. Try our New Yorkerless strip steak, guiltless grilled rack of Sam, or our manless meatballs and marinara. Our human-inspired menu tastes so much like real human. After just one bite, you'll be waiting for the police to arrive. <laughs> So indulge in the dining experience so authentic, even non-vegan cannibals will love it too. Wow. The Vegan Cannibal Steakhouse, where nobody gets killed. Available exclusively on Postmates. And the comments are just as freaked out as I am. I had to go back and rewatch the ad to make sure I wasn't tripping. This has got to be the most fever dreamish ad I've seen. Why do I feel like this is a social experiment? Oh, what do you mean? Just like the whole vegan diet should be considered a social experiment? I wasn't aware of so many people are eating humans. They had to make a vegan version. What the hell is going on? I saw this while watching Good Mythical Morning. Seemed fitting. Love liquid death. <laughs> oh my god. Evil putting the truth right in your face. Precisely. Someone has figured it out. The vegan diet is evil. The people behind the vegan diet is evil. And they're trying some weird satanic stuff that they think is trendy. I worked in advertising for 30 years. I'm jealous. I'm also vegan. Oh, I gotta change my voice. So, yay. I love your water and your company, but this is the most... What thing I see? It goes to Postmates to see if she can actually order this from her state. What, what if this isn't a joke? It's not. It's not. It's real. Look at it. Up. It's not a joke. <laughs> see, these people are flipping out. This seriously is what convinced me. So, let's go to their website. The Vegan Cannibal Steakhouse by Liquid Death plus Postmates. I mean, this sounds like the name of a cocktail bar. Like, what is Liquid Death? At the Vegan Cannibal Steakhouse, we believe that human meat is murder. That's why we only serve you and your family 100% plant-based, cruelty-free human. Now you can enjoy all the human meat you crave, but without anyone actually... What is... This is so weird. Postmates? New Yorkerless strip steak? Guiltless grilled rack of sand? Oh, they say what it is. Wait, no, they're... They're actually not saying what the meat is made out of. But it's it's legitimate. It's legitimate. What the fuck? Find a death dealer near you. They're, dude, they're not even hiding it. They're telling you a vegan diet is death. This is nuts. Death to sell your soul. The Liquid Death Country Club. Get free Liquid Death tea with your first water order on liquiddeath.com. What is this? Liquid Death Mountain Water. Don't be scared. It's just water. Yeah, uh, this is... Uh, some weird shit. 100% mountain water from the Alps. Water made by nature, not in the lab. Infinitely recyclable. What the fuck is this? They sell water? Best water ever. Take my soul. Fresh, delicious mountain water even my picky girlfriend loves. What more needs to be said? Tastes like water. Straight murders. What? Is this a cult? Do I need to start my own water company and, and name it something ridiculous? Like chlorine bleach and just it's actually water. <laughs> can we can we design like little plastic bleach bottles that are like sixteen ounces and sell that as as Frankie's water? What what do we <laughs> is that gonna make me a lot of money like these clowns? You know, I bet you there's some type of like aluminum estrogenated compound to turn boys into girls and girls into boys in there. I think that's why they're so successful with the new uh global i can't even say it agenda so that's some really weird stuff but what that reminded me of was this video by that uh kind of creepy doll like looking uh college girl making vegan tuna i'll give you three seconds to name what kind of fish this is wrong it's a watermelon here's how to make watermelon tuna slice this into cubes 
marinade in sesame oil, soy sauce. Who comes up with this stuff originally? <laughs> oh my God, these people are lunatics. Garlic, seaweed, and seasoning. I mean, the only way it happened was like, a vegan must have been eating watermelon for breakfast and been like, man, I'm really craving fish. I could really go for some fish right now. Wait, this watermelon started, I mean, I don't know, maybe something weird happened in their head where the watermelon started to taste like fish because of all the stinky vegan girls that were in their apartment. So, you know, the, the, the stench from their, uh, you know, their, uh, <laughs> the stench from between their legs <laughs> encapsulated the watermelon. <laughs> Oh God. Then bake for 10 minutes at 400. So we got to cook the sushi. I couldn't find regular size seaweed sheets, but there's not a lot that's right about this anyway. I'm convinced she makes things that look good, but don't actually taste that great. I'm genuinely curious and want to respectfully ask the vegan community that if you really cannot cutting out meat from your diet, why bother re-engineering the food to look or taste like meat? <laughs> I mean, I don't think vegans have as many people on their side as they think they do. I guess it makes sense. You know, these vegans are just following an agenda. They don't really have any creativity. They don't come up with things on their own. I'm sure you know, there's plenty of really good vegan chefs out there and especially sushi chefs that can come up with some really, really delicious alternatives like avocado rolls with nice sauces and seasonings for dipping in. But uh, you know, the powers that be are doing a pretty good job of controlling these people through the manipulation of social media and all this crazy crap. And because of that, we'll never see true statistics on how many people are vegan, how many people are suffering health problems. They just hide everything up whatever they need to do to continue their starvation agenda. You know, they, they poison us in so many different ways. A vegan diet is just an extreme version of it. So thank you guys for joining me today. Let me know what you think of this cookery. Uh, so if you could please go to frank com to support me through all of my businesses. Leave me a comment down below. Drop a like on the video. Make sure to subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, as I said, check out frank com to support me. Thanks again for joining me, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow.